Hi, in this video I wanted to show you uh, some of the new wiring kits that we've recently been building. We've been selling wiring kits for quite a while, uh, basically using CTS pots, CRL switches, orange drop caps, that kind of thing. We fit them all onto our own uh, replica fender control shields that you can see there. Uh, we've been selling them for quite a while, we sell a lot of them with lots of different configurations. Um, but we've had a lot of people recently asking us if we could do a solderless version uh, for people who aren't too confident with the soldering iron and don't want to risk damaging the pots, the switches, that kind of thing. So we've started to develop a range of wiring kits that are identical apart from the fact that they're basically a drop-in solution that don't require any soldering. So this one for instance is a, an SRV type configuration with three CTS pots, 250k. It's got a five-way CRL switch in there and an orange drop capacitor, 0.022 microfarad so basically that's the kind of setup you would get in a standard American Fender. Steve Ray Vaughan didn't really mess about with the electrics in his guitar so that is what you would get with the added uh, features of having connecting blocks that are very easy to just drop your uh, wires from your pickups into there and you, from your output jack as well so there's no soldering required it should take about five or ten minutes to fix very very simple and anybody can do it. Uh, we've got this one we've done uh, a grease bucket one will be all the other wiring kits that we currently sell will be offering those in a solderless version within the next week or two as well. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to show you how simple it is to fit that really. I've got a strat here uh, that's got typical standard wiring in it at the moment. We're going to change that out. So it's basically just a case of removing the switches, the knobs, that kind of thing. Take the scratch plate off. We'll take all the other electrics on off and we'll put the new ones on. It should take about five minutes. Okay, so we've taken the strings off. Uh, we're ready to put the new control shield on. I've got a few tools in me, some wire cutters, a spanner, a couple of screwdrivers, and this really important thing, a uh, knob puller. So the first thing we're gonna do, take the knobs off, the switch tip, that kind of thing, get the scratch plates off, and then we can swap out the, uh, the electrics. Okay, so there we go. So the first thing we want to do really is disconnect all of these wires. I'm just going to snip them off. You could desolder them obviously, but just for speed, I'm just going to snip them all off. Okay, and that's those off. So we can get rid of this body for a little while, so we're not going to need that. Okay, so now we've got rid of the body. Uh, I've also exposed all of these wires so that they're ready to go in. When you buy this, you do get uh, a color-coded wire diagram, wiring diagram, so you know exactly where to put the wires. Uh, but basically, they work like this: bridge, middle, neck on the uh, on the end. So if we find the, uh, I'm going to start with the neck actually. In fact, no, we'll start with the bridge. So the bridge will go in at the very end. Just need to expose a bit more of that wire. That goes in there. It's basically just a case of screwing those, those in. Middle neck, middle next. Bridge at the end, at neck at the end. And then you've got your three ground wires. Now these can be a bit fiddly because the connecting blocks are quite small. So I find it best if you can twist these wires together. And then they go into the next slot there. And there we go. That's all ready to go. Okay, so there we go, so that's all wired in, ready to go. It's just a case of connecting the jacks uh, wires now, which we'll do. So here's the body again. And again, can be a little bit fiddly. I'm 
going to snip a bit of this off. So hopefully I can get this wire a bit easier. There we go. And I've also got a wire here from the tremolo claw, which you might be able to see. So I'm just going to expose that as well. So the white wire is going to go into this top connecting block here. Like that. That's that one. And then the other two wires And that is it. Wires just push back in. And there you go. That's done.